Greetings and salutations and distance to this Iowa Full Tech and here we go with another little fun video. Uh, this is going to be a really hard one to take a photo of to make a, 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 a thumbnail with but this is actually a nice little mat, uh, map for Tomb of Annihilation. Comes in a nice tube. Got the cap right there. It is a hex map. This is actually a really nice. This is actually really nice piece to look at it again and again. Uh, you actually have multiple maps inside of it. But anyways, it's a plastic map. You got a generic hex crawl inside of it because this area is generally poorly documented in the world of. Uh, in the world of Faerun, or the Forgotten Realms. You got some of the islands up here. You got all well, this stuff down here. This area is heavily under effect of various magical uh, curses and uh, based from a death of a god. It actually is a really nice little mat that you can put down on your table. And you got this one big one, which is the big core map of Cholt itself. And then you have, oh, another three, three maps. They're all the smaller sizes. Ooh, there's actually four. Three. Why did I say, th why did I say four when I already knew it was just three? But anyways, you have Port Nairazu map which is actually rather nice you got a distance chart down here in the bottom everything is high enough quality on this map that you can easily make out all the houses and the yards and it's all late uh it's generally labeled for sections like harbor ward and merchants ward but there is no information on these maps that would give away any key information to players if you were to set these down. So they're perfectly safe maps for players to look at. This is the map for Omu, the Forbidden City. And then you have this map right here, which is actually the exception to the other two maps, the big map. Which is actually the complete map, the Dungeon Master's map for Cholt. With all the information on the inside do documenting all the important and dangerous spots in Cholt. So you got one map for the Dungeon Master, and you got two other, uh, three other maps that are perfect for showing to your players. And I say, this would definitely be a strong buy for anyone who wants to run a Cholt adventure because you got three maps of two major locations in Cholt that you can show to players and they have a solid idea of where they are or where they want to go. And then you have a nice big safe mat map with just some Core locations marked on it, commonly known. But the big interior area is completely a mystery. And then you have your Dungeon Master map with all the key information on it that for the big map. And yet again, on, on this map, there is a key in the corner on the big one. A key in the corner as well as a key in the corner of this one, denoting important uh, details, some of which you do not want the players to know. So I say, if you have the money to splurge on this, oh my goodness, this is nice. This is almost as good as Paizo shit. Or Piazzo. But anyways, this is really nice is to have for your... Uh, your adventures in Cholt Alt campaign. Really good for adventures in Cholt. 
really good for uh, Tomb of Annihilation. You should run up to the Tomb of Annihilation. So, I would definitely buy this. Yeah, this is in the plus four star territory. If I were you, if you had the money and you were running a Cholt adventure, and you definitely like carved out your schedule to make sure that the, exp uh, the money expenditure was not going to be wasted. And after all, these, these maps are actually so nice. Oh, got Lantern in the corner. These maps are so nice that if you really wanted to just use them for an ongoing campaign, even after you resolve the story of, uh, the core story of, uh, the Tomb of Annihilation, or even if you didn't even care about that and just wanted to run a Cholt-based adventure, buy these maps. These are nice maps. It's produced by Gale for Gale for Nice Gale Force Nine. Uh, one hex is equal to ten miles. Yet again, I do not know. I don't see. I don't see a Gale Force Nine code on here. Gale Force 9 code would actually make it a whole lot easier for you to find it. But anyways, this is actually, uh, this is really nice. I really like this. Actually, considering that uh, I was about to buy a whole bunch of these, and then I stopped up with this one, and then I opened it up, up and uh, actually I actually am really impressed by it. I should probably go back and hunt down the rest of these, these maps and buy them. So... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a super awesome day and a uh, super awesome day, a, del a nice night, and a wonderful week and a magnificent month. And please leave comments in the section below telling me what you think. And consider subscribing and hitting the like or dislike button depending on your mood. Uh, see you next time.